greetings guys uh, one more time after after some time now <clears throat> today is 20th of July 2016 my name is Nicholas I'm originally from Serbia that's where we're doing this small screencast today's presentation short one is going to be about nothing less or nothing more than PC Linux OS this is a 64-bit edition with the XFC desktop which is not officially in the on the official internet site right of the PC Linux OS this is community driven distribution and it's a um, let's say um, rolling distribution which means that every day or every two or three days or every time you do an update you're getting everything new and new and new and new uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's always going to be 100 percent stable but the good people from the community and the good people who made the PC Linux OS which has been around I must say for years now um, they're doing a good job actually yeah now I'm running this already installed on my hard drive next to the uh, Charlotte OS that's based on uh, Ubuntu right because my Charlotte OS is my primary primary system in which I really like and I really like to use it but still I like to experiment and I like to test other distros now PC Linux OS has always been um, attracting my mind pretty much well, there we go. Standard XFC settings panel, right? And uh, let's start from this one. The start menu. What do we get in the programs and uh, etc. in the menus? Besides the XFC settings manager and the settings editor, which is pretty much standard stuff for the XFC desktop, especially XFC4, um, in the more applications section, we're gonna start from this one. We have in the ex accessibility, we have the Florence virtual keyboard. Never used it, didn't test it so far, I don't care about it. In the configuration menu, I have personally added, because of my graphics card, uh, the driver, uh, the proprietary ATI AMD driver, uh, and, then, and then the Catalyst Control Center. After this, we have the Bluetooth Manager, Cairo Dock, this one I'm not sure what it is screensaver configuration c computer configuration blah 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 gparted was added by me actually when you install the PC Linux OS after the installation the first update the gparted disappears so you have to add it manually later through the synaptic of course and the Windows USB also I've added just now there comes a load of tools like uh, G Smart Control LXD restore the MBR on the hard drive, which is really nice. My live USB is especially for this distro, so it, it's for PC Linux OS only. Databases, development, education, emulators, blah, 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 blah. And in this couple of first sections, I don't even want to, you know, continue. It's standard stuff with the file tools. You get the bleach bit and bleach bit as root, which is pretty nice program. Actually, this piece of software runs scan of your hard drive and your system for duplicate files, junk files and stuff, and it's going to erase them. Actually, never had a bug with it so far in different distros whatsoever. It didn't erase any of the stuff that I didn't want, even though I marked the most dangerous stuff, like uh, you know, like deep scans, empty RAM memory, defragment RAM memory, and etc. 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 Of course, Thuner File Manager comes by default with the XFCE, which is really nice. I liked Thuner. It's always stable, although the version here is 1.6.10. Point you can update that that one also manually, I guess. <coughs> let's go further now in the graphics section here comes a pretty neat choice by default it's a G color 3 uh, okay GNU image manipulation program G picture view mm, then you have the LibreOffice 5.1 draw master PDF editor simple scan and X same sca scanning internet now besides all of this stuff that you see here I have personally added Dludge as a torrent client, as a BitTorrent client, 
and Google Chrome. The rest was there. Office, the same, didn't touch anything. By default, you get all of this stuff. In the Software Center section, always by default with a PC Linux OS, which is really nice, is the duplicate clean GUI, which I actually prefer from time to time to clean my system from duplicate packages and files. There comes the Synaptic Package Manager, Update Notifier, and the Virtual Box Manager. Sound section, Clementine as the audio player, great little radio player for the online radio stations, which is far the best piece of software so far on Linux and Mac OS and blah blah. Too bad it doesn't support Windows, right? Ha ha, it's never gonna support MS Windows. You suck. You have the PC Linux OS audio converter and the uh, FLV the slash MP4 player. This one I'm not sure what it is. XF X XCFA. Doesn't matter. And in the video section you get the Camorama webcam viewer, DVD and G, probably some DVD editor. Also, they have put <laughs> in multiple sections a great li great little radio player. MKV Info and MKV Tool Nix GUI software. SM Player and SM Tube I've added manually. Now, this is what you get approximately. I have I did some tuning of my own. I added personally this, let's say, the plugin for the XFC panel for the weather, plugin for the keyboard layout. But that's like two simple things to do, you know, in the in the Synaptic Package Management System. Uh, in general, this thing I prefer, let's type in the root password, right. Um, PC Linux OS Control Center has been around for years and years now since they have started pushing this distro and I must say one thing. Uh, great visual, not too complicated to use, always working fast and giving you a lot of options. Now. For the advanced users, you know, this is like a true candy in the system. Finish the stuff that you want to tune the way you want to tune. Very simple, very easy. And this is what these guys made. And this control center is by far the best in the Linux distributions that I've seen so far. General, one on one, since I don't have too much time available, uh, PC Linux OS guys and the community, of course, everybody who is joining this project great job thumbs up keep up the good work this is I'm sorry to say for now second distro on my hard drive the primary is always for the last two years the shallot OS but nevertheless you guys deserve first place everywhere of course because you're doing a good job now um, <clears throat> I'm not 100% positively sure, but I think that this distro is always based on the RPM packages, which is not so bad actually, because it's like close to Fedora and Red Hat, and um, there is always like a specific packaging for this distro. There's always gonna be, right? Guys, I hope you like the, the short presentation of this uh, XFC PC Linux OS distro. Um, try it on your own. It doesn't hurt so much to download it, the ISO from the links, and uh, you can Google it. Don't worry about it. You will find it on the PC Linux OS internet site in the forum section. Mm, try it. You have the live version, of course. You can make a live USB, and then later you can install if you like it. But the full power comes, of course, with the installation itself and some manual tuning afterwards don't forget to do a full update from the synaptic and um, see you guys later enjoy <laughs>